Hi, amazing family of God. Welcome to the Potter's Room. Faith is not the absence of storms. Faith is holding on to the anchor of the integrity of God's words, even in the storm. The power of truth is in its ability to remain consistent through time. The principle of God's words separated from your application will yield no result. Apply them now and watch your life change. Sit back, relax as Apostle Joshua Selman brings the word to us with simplicity and with power. God bless you. Just to encourage us and then we'll pray. Proverbs chapter 4. Is it projected? Okay. Hear ye, children, the instructions of a father, and attend to no understanding, for I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. Solomon is teaching us here. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and leave. Verse 5. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Verse 6. Forsake her not. Who is the heart? Wisdom. Understanding. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Take note. The benefits of embracing wisdom and understanding. She shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Seven says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Verse eight says, exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. Who will bring you? Wisdom and understanding, not just wisdom. Wisdom and understanding will bring you to honor when thou dost embrace her. We are reading to verse 10, verse 9. She shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver unto you. Verse 10. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. From preservation to honor to longevity, wisdom and understanding. Wisdom is the capacity to understand the mind of Christ. Wisdom is the ability to communicate the scriptural solution concerning every issue of life the scriptural solution to every issue of life is called wisdom you are wise to the degree to which you comprehend the ability to profess scriptural solution there are cultural solutions to life's problems there are occultic solutions to life problems there are emotional solutions to life's problems none of them in themselves are able to provide lasting solutions but the wisdom of god the wisdom of god i have pursued the wisdom of god with my life because when I was exposed to my own folly and the fact that I am so limited and the consequences of foolishness, the Bible says he that walks with the wise shall be wise himself. But he said just being the companion of a fool, your destruction is guaranteed. If as a companion of a fool you are destroyed, then what happens to the fool? Just being a friend to a foolish man, allowing his foolish decisions to influence you, it guarantees doom for you. That means every fool has no hope. Foolishness is bankruptcy of the knowledge of God's principles. It's not just acting foolishly. The foolish action is a product of bankruptcy in your spirit and in your mind. 
like us to carefully examine the decisions in our lives. I want us to carefully examine the things that we do. The degree to which you have succeeded is a show of how you have manifested the wisdom of God. Every time results are not produced in your life is because there was a defaulting in the wisdom of God. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's the secret to rising and pressing for wisdom. I am ever ready to be shown by God the areas in my life where I am bankrupt of the wisdom of God. It doesn't embarrass me. I want to know. I search for it like one who is looking for treasure. If you do not contend for wisdom, your life will be an unending circle of pain, an unending circle of regrets, an unending circle of many things. Most of us look at our lives this year and we can see several points in our lives where foolishness veered us off the path of glory and brought us into a lot of pain. Some of us lost destiny helpers. Some of us lost the gift of men. Is that true? Some of us lost opportunities. Some of us lost access. Several things. No wisdom. Some of us this year, we approached our parents wrongly. And right now there is a divide between us and our parents. Lack of wisdom. Some of us had zeal with no knowledge. And it brought a lot of trouble to our businesses. A lot of trouble to our ministries. Wisdom is very important. The Bible says it is the principal thing. And you see, the Bible says, I commend you to the word of God. He says he's able to make you wise. The word of God makes men wise. Just by focusing your attention on the word of God and imbibing the principles, the modus operandi of the kingdom, it makes you wise. The word of God teaches you how to relate with difficult people. The word of God teaches you how to speak and when to speak so that you don't get into trouble the word of god teaches you how to respond to unbelievers many of us come from families where there is a mixture of people who are both of the faith and not of the faith wisdom teaches you how to communicate wisdom teaches you that when you are angry be silent because every time you speak you will speak in the flesh there are many people who just obeying this principle would have saved them businesses worth millions of naira they uttered words that they are still paying for it today are we together our challenges dr mike modok will say there is no money problem anywhere and i agree with him most of our challenges because you see we are victims of our understanding and most of the things we have executed in our lives are reflections of the limitations of our knowledge our wisdom our understanding guess what the bible says it says true wisdom a house is built then it says by understanding it is established the firmness of that house is a product of understanding it says true knowledge is the house filled with every pleasurable thing we must make up our minds that we are going to access the word of God not just as an instrument to heal us of the guilt of um, spirituality I would say for many people our study of the word is just to so that the devil does not plant any seed in us that we are backsliding but we are not learning anything this is the greatest book that will help your career and your business this is the greatest book that will help your marriage this is the greatest book the sufferings in our world today is because we have ignored the truths that are here we have read it like a religious book we have read it to preach we have read it to to carry out bible studies and prayer sessions but we have not read it for the purpose of accessing wisdom for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom Choose the way of the Lord. Listen, there is no age you get to in life that guarantees that all your decisions will be flawlessly accurate. This is the book that coordinates our success. There is no educational height you get to 
that guarantees that your decision making process will be accurate even if you study psychology it is not enough to give you all the parameters that are needed in themselves to make wise decisions i have lost confidence in myself outside of the world it says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path in this wicked world listen this ministry by the grace of god was built on this word i have meticulously built my life on this word i don't trust any other thing that is not this word i bring you a proposition tonight as we round up this year i want you to return to a place where you hold an unquenchable hunger and value for the word many of us pray but our lives are bankrupt of wisdom our decisions show the absence of the influence of the world it's very clear that we are not being governed by the world i can know how much you have imbibed the world by the excellency and the quality of your communication i'm not talking of linguistic excellence i'm talking of the wisdom that flows from your words i see your behavior I see how you disappoint your enemy's expectations and I know you have stayed with the world. When you become a victim of people's expectations, wait and see. He's going to shout at this person. Ah, you come and shout. Ah, you have given yourself cheap to life. The word of God is not coordinating you. Jesus disappointed the expectations of the people many times for instance when they brought to him the woman who was caught in adultery they expected he was going to rant because they were talking about the word of god you know every time satan wants to challenge you he uses scripture moses said this and jesus kept quiet wisdom for there is a time to speak and there is a time to be silent there are times where your loudest communication is in your silence your silence will answer more than any word for instance when responding to your critic your critic already knows the truth don't try to explain it's a waste of time you don't respond to critics by verbal communication you respond to critics by consistency consistency of your results is that true when I look at our lives and I see our lives surrounded by pride and arrogance, it is because we have not seen the deception of pride. The deception of pride is like a man climbing a ladder and you take the ladder away. That's exactly what pride does. I love the word of God. I stopped reading my Bible to finish it. I stopped reading my Bible to crime scriptures. I found out that it was truly a roadmap in this darkness darkness where there is deception how many of you have followed people's advices and their advices crashed you not because they were bad people they were just humans they advise you to beat your wife if she goes wrong see i tried it on my own wife look at how she's behaving now you tried it on your own wife and that's when you, you your prayer stopped being answered that's the first thing that started happening to you and many other bad things happen to you can look at your life and know how much the word of God has prevailed by the quality of the results that you produce you see let me tell you something if I look at your life and I see you are dirty and tattered as simple as neatness I know you don't have respect for the word of God if the word of God can purge your spirit then your life will reflect it you cannot be growing in the world and you are dirty unkept looking like a thief all the time and say it does not matter no sir no sir the word of god will make you to buy an iron because it will teach you that there is a way you appear before kings there is a way kings behave and the bible tells you that you have been made according to revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 we have been made unto god a kingdom of kings and priests so you speak like a king you act like a king thank you for watching this video we believe you've learned something new and please don't just learn also apply them in your life and watch your life change this year and also please don't forget to share our videos with your friends and your family do it to like to share and also subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this thank you and god bless you